Yeah. Did you do did you do a half ass job? Yeah. I do that a lot. Good enough job for it to work, but it's still probably gonna. Right. Ted, can I cut that white white rope? Uh, yeah, actually, that's what I was just looking for. I okay. Need it. All done. all comes out from one another? Yeah, it should. Okay. So maybe, oh yeah, I should put this on top. Don't then, just, then I'll pass it through to you. you. Okay. And then, I'll, if you want to go in the tent, and I can pass it through to you. Yeah, it goes in the second hole. It goes on the end, does it? Yeah, the second hole. Alright, hold on. Second hole from where? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the second hole. But it's true. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Hole. Unfortunately, it's true. How's that? Bring it towards me a bit more, Heather. Yeah, like, yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is super cool. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Hey, when you can have a stove and a tent, that makes all the difference in the world. Oh, it's bright, sweet. it's all good. So, yeah. do you want to trade? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers, okay. guys. Cheers. 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 All right. Yeah. Like, we haven't missed a beat. Mm. Other than we're oh, well yeah. fed. I think Brooke and Dave look and younger than when I saw them last time, which is Very impressive. Good. I know yeah, they do. I'm two I years younger now. Definitely <laughs> fatter, for sure. You know, like, mm -hmm. you guys, I don't know how you guys do it. Thanks, guys. Man, we're so glad you guys got to come over. This is so oh, fun. This is so fun. Yeah. 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 So glad. Perfect. Spiced the steak on the grill, Jim. Uh, 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 are those the $50 steaks you were talking yes, about? Yes, $50 They're two each. Fifty. Okay. Fifty dollars steak right there. This is there. just oh, yeah. you're never finding it's steaks that cheap steak in Canada. It's Kobe had. beef right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Kobe yeah. beef straight from Japan, yeah. flown on the uh, 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 speed sound barrier breaking plane just to make sure they're fresh. You won. It was you like it was like it. wow. It was, it was, that's that's you hardcore. You deserve to win. <laughs> you guys suffered. You butt. That's off. hardcore. We never did anything hardcore. impressive at all out there. No, like, we did Everything didn't. that we attempted was a Fail. failure. Everything <laughs> failed. It was freaking impressive. You don't, I mean, you don't need to have, you don't need, you don't need to look cool on camera when you're like, 
you're literally like scraping stuff off the rock and eating it. It's like, yeah. wow, that's hardcore, man. That's it's like we're like, okay, let's go fishing. We like scrape off like the stuff off the bottom of a rock, try to fish with it, don't catch anything, eat the stuff off the bottom of a rock. Literally, yeah. like, you know those little jelly squish things? We're uh, literally, oh. literally we trying to eat those. everything. Back, man. <laughs> jelly squish stuff, things. Like, that's, yeah, they're, that's they're little brown things that when you touch them, they like squirt water off of them that like are on the bottom of rock. We were literally scraping Jelly those off. Things? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah and like you were like, we were like, yeah, I never looked into it. I, I remember yeah. one time I got so excited because I found all these sea cucumbers and I thought we were set. You really did? Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. But they yeah. were like little sea cucumbers and by the time you spent like yeah, way just, too long like trying to get the straps meat. off, they were like, yeah. they were like this Nothing. big. So yeah. I came yeah. back with this like, it felt like, you know, it, it was probably like three pounds, but because, you know, I was skinny as a yeah. skeleton, it felt like a hundred pounds. Yep. I got a hundred pounds of sea cucumbers. <laughs> and then when you start pulling the meat out, you just realize there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing there. there. Imagine having like a, like a thing of Tabasco sauce. You can uh -huh. just... No, Ted wants the shot. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Ted's tomorrow. I'm the director. Yeah. Are you trying to get that shot, Jim? Yeah. I'm burning it if you are. Yeah. And, uh, you're up. Nope, you're not. Cool. I'm just drinking straight whiskey. It's a man amongst mere boys. Got it. Yep. Got it. Yeah. I can't stand dogs. Yeah, it's a little chill. Like I hate dogs. <laughs> dogs suck so bad. Nobody likes them. It's a lot of style. Lie. It's just like mm. everything's wonderful. That looks fantastic. Thank oh, you. That's awesome. mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mm. Cheers, Cheers, homie. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ty, do you remember it's this? It's a bad idea, actually. We were at the airport, and we were the last couple to be picked up. Like the, the van was coming. Right. And so the van pulls up. Oh, I remember. In, yeah. And like <laughs> you and Ted were no, sitting together this. on a bench in the van, right? Mm. And so you're like, well. Shoot, I'll make some room for you. So you bail into like, you literally like crawl, like crawl over the seat. And you're like, whoa, there we go. And Ted looks over because now there's just like enough room for like one of us with each of you now, instead of like you both were there and like we both would be in the seat. And Ted looks over, well, that just made that more awkward. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I was just dying from the moment we met you guys. <laughs> that was my first impression, like, oh my gosh, this guy's that was this guy's air, jumping that was that over like a, the seat of the van. Like, because mm -hmm. you're just like... I'm like, not like a small dude. No, no. No, it was no, hilarious. Definitely not. <laughs> like, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like, That's a good Whoa. way to put it. You know it's They're happening. waiting for you to leave the table so they can make fun of you. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a mascot. I've never seen a wind chime like that in my life before. I know, before. it's super cool. I like how the, the head and the neck move. I know, yeah, from back really here. Cool. I don't know where I'm going to hang it, but I thought it was so cool. That's neat. Yep. He's going to tell me what to do now. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's even high for you. Oh, I'll bring it down. So, here, I'll hold it. So, like here kind of thing? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right there. That's right. Uh, yeah, she's not looking at you. Not start a spring. <laughs> let it go. Spring. Yay! What does that mean? Go like this. Hey! That's spring. cool! Spring. Welcome. Oh, I did too, man. I mean, I like it. I got lost. Bella. Bella. Yeah. Uh, you know, they plant them in stands for, you know, telephone poles and stuff, huh? But when you see the old ones, they're beautiful, man, because they're huge. I would do that, Indeed. Oh, totally. Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, ready? It's counting. Right now. Okay. Here it comes. This is Picture. insane. You, you have to stand a little bit more on this side. This side? Yeah. <laughs> to chink. I was probably. Oh, there. Bella comes busting. <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, that's good. <laughs> Microphone. Look, the reason you guys are together is because of your, your strengths and your differences. Each other, right? Same with me and Tori. Right. Oh. No, I think you got enough. Holy show. Yeah, it's all like everything is all good. Cooking your as long as the heat it's stays so going, good. it's awesome. Here we are at Brook Whipple's remote property in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We had a little bit of an awesome road trip here. How many bald eagles did we see, Ted? Hey, Ted, how many bald eagles did we see? 15, 20? We saw about 20 bald eagles on the way here. Uh, we crossed the border at Sault Ste. Marie. They let us in with our dogs into the States, which... Uh, was nice. I was a little nervous before crossing the border, but it was no issue. We had all the 
passports and all that kind of stuff and uh, just having a bit of a reunion and checking out this property. We haven't seen Brooke and Dave for a while since we did the reunion episode for Alone. So awesome to, uh, to kind of get together with them and catch up on things and check out this really neat property that uh, uh, Brooke bought. It is a remote property. I swear these old dirt roads, no gravel, just muddy dirt roads uh, go on kind of forever out here and you could probably easily get lost and then there's just huge swaths of uh, of just bush that's state land so pretty pretty neat little place a uh, little outdoor playground here to say the least so we're just we're just having a good time enjoying uh, enjoying uh, the fall and just hanging out and checking out this new property in the surrounding area and we're gonna have some coffee and some breakfast and I'm not sure exactly what's on the agenda for today but I'm sure it's gonna be fun I don't think it's there you go. That's I don't know. The part that was poisonous, I think we just figured yeah. out it was poisonous. The part that's poisonous tastes up. really poisonous. Like bile. Yeah, like, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Just so we, acidic. And, yeah, I still, yeah. Ted liked them. I was just like, not sure, really going crazy for them. Okay. Garlic mantic, as I was thinking. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but once in a while, we'd have these sable fish runs where, like, you could you could catch one as fast as you could rebate your hook and uh, Frank's Red and Hot and soups, yeah. like tomato based soups. Nice. We love it. On wings, it's good too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my favorite. I love wings. Oh, love wings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And then uh, catching some with smashed muscle, like, and they hold on. What's that stuff? You, it's like a batter. They were managing the time. Like I can run online and I can't find it. Or like little. We didn't bring any plates. Ugh matter with us that right had fallen and was leaning up and um it was binding and jim was trying to saw it and um so i oh, went halfway really through it right so we we felt like you know <laughs> once he starts getting towards halfway you know i might have to like stop <clears throat> sitting on the end 20 feet up because it's like a natural spring right all as right, soon as the top right. comes off it's under so much tension he has no idea what's going on <laughs> it's like face has yeah. died for like six days like it just doesn't go away wow yeah yeah and but okay. I think, yeah. well um brooke has this really cool hanging grill thing that's really neat i think i might want to get one um, just makes it super easy to cook over the fire and you can uh, make the grill go higher or lower to accommodate with the fire size and how much heat you want on your food. So really fun and effective way to cook over the fire. How's it going everybody? My name is Dave Whipple from season four of Alone. I got to meet these wonderful people Jim and Ted Baird on season four of Alone through boot camp and the lead up to launch and of course the reunion show in New York. And we're just having a great time up here in the UP, hanging out with these guys. They're good friends, they're great folks. Just wonderful time. And Jim would like me to talk about my YouTube channel. And uh, basically what my channel is, is called Bush Radical. The, the idea behind the name Bush Radical is it's a channel about things rural and backcountry and from a fringer's standpoint. A lot of the stuff I do on the channel is off-grid living, rustic living. Uh, we've lived a lot of time in tiny cabins, spent time in the Aleutian Islands, spent time in Sitka hosting uh, a, a campground. And uh, basically, my adult life has been spent in a very rustic, uh, very off-grid cabiny type of a lifestyle. And I really like to put that out in videos. Fishing videos, camping videos and uh, lots of log cabin videos, lots mm -hmm. of building videos. So basically the idea behind the Bush Radical channel is survival, adventure, and rustic living. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of stuff in Alaska, a lot of stuff in the back country, and a lot of stuff in, uh, in small log cabins. Mm -hmm. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Cool, cool. And uh, what do you think about Brooke uh, getting this property and, and this project? Oh, this property is, is an, it's an amazing piece and it's in a great location that is, is very, very, very isolated for the lower 48. So ultimately what our goal is in the next 15 years is to have a couple cabins around the country and kind of do part of the year in one area and part of the year in another, but always be somewhere remote and always be somewhere that's cabin country. You know, we don't want to live the, the standard 
you know, consumer lifestyle of a, a McMansion and a and a nine to five job because that's just it's it's giving me a headache just talking about it. Uh, the idea of um, having this place, we'll be able to do some outdoor classes, you know, teach some survival, uh, show some cabin building projects to people that are interested in that sort of thing. And uh, so I'm really stoked about this place. Mm. How do you feel about me and Ted beating you on a loan? <laughs> well, now we get right to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When we went on a loan, we went to win a loan. Yeah. We did the best that we could do. And by the time we left, we were in a position to where we thought we left it all on the table and we're not going to look back and, and have regrets like we wish we would have done this. Yeah. So obviously we didn't win. And it's fantastic to know that, that you guys won it. Yeah. And I, th I think you guys totally deserved it. And Sam and Pete were, were absolutely amazing. Yeah. And uh, so I, I think everybody feels good about where they're at. Sam yeah. and Pete got a nothing at all to feel yeah. bad about. Yeah. Those guys were hardcore. Yeah. And, uh, and you guys, you know, you guys pulled out the win. And yeah. uh, just hats off to you. That's yeah. just, we had a great time. It was a wonderful experience and uh lots of respect i think i think you guys did unbelievable mm -hmm. and a lot of that wasn't super uh bushcrafty type of stuff it was just being tough yeah. and it was being used to life in, in the back country and taking it and uh you guys did amazing absolutely amazing thank you kindly sir well, so brooke how excited are you about this property here oh i'm so happy it's just you know, it's just pure wilderness. I love it. I love to explore and there's so much potential here. So yeah, I'm really excited. You could really wander around for a while back here and not bump into anybody. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just surrounded by state land. So mm -hmm. really have no limits, you know, mm -hmm. where you can go. So yeah, it's and there's awesome. so much more to explore still that you haven't even been able to you discover haven't yet. haven't even. It's also yeah. a fantastic halfway point to hang out with our Canadian friends. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah, That's we right. come from, you know, we take the high road, you take the low road, we meet here and yeah. sit That's around right. a fire. And uh, what, what might, we, next time if we're, you know, humbly invited back, what might we, might we expect to see uh, here? A Tim Hortons with poutine. Or oh whatever. man, oh. you might not get rid of us. That sounds pretty good right now, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get poutine in the U.S. No. Or Putin, as I was told it's called. Well, in northern Ontario. Yeah. yeah. No, you cool. know, this is going to be, uh, open this place up, needs more sunlight, and we should give us more firewood. But, you know, cabins, a cabin and a teaching space and, you know, more, more area to have, you know, wall tents for people to be yeah. in so that we can have a learning space here. So, yeah, I mean, I can just see so many projects over the years. You know, just building up a property is just so much fun. It's just so exciting. So... Yeah, I can see lots of good times here. And of course you can't be here and work all the time. So lots of good downtime too. Lots of good fire, fire campfires and food and friends and family. So it's just gonna be a great gathering place. Like we've just broken it in. So thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's been yeah. great this weekend. That's exciting. So you're gonna do some classes and, and stuff like that here too. Yeah. 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 Maybe you can get me and Ted in to show people how to, uh, how to eat do pots better. of limpets. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> how, to do it how to eat dirt. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> think so. There will yeah. not ever be limpets. There will never yeah. be limpets on the menu if no. I can help it. When we talk about the topic of survival, it's not necessarily hypothetical. It's we can look at things that we've done in the backcountry and apply it to that. And survival is generally, in my opinion, a situation in wilderness survival. You're lost or you're stranded. Because if you're not lost, you're you're you know where you're at. And if you're not stranded, you can get to where you're going which ultimately is probably going to be better than where you're at. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what would you guys say is, is one of the absolute vital necessities in wilderness travel to think about before you set out? I think one of the most uh, vital things to think about before you set out in wilderness travel is it's going to sound kind of obvious. Uh, so we just finished up uh, eating and just hanging out, went for a little hike, actually found some winter chanterelles here on uh, Brooks property. And now we're going to what is apparently a gigantic and magical waterfall 
here in the UP. So we're looking really forward to checking that out. Brooke and Dave tell me that it's really, really impressive. So, you know, um, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be holding it uh, up high, and if it sucks, they're gonna hear about it. I finally end up just like drinking like rainwater, like making a patch with that thing. But at first, the, I was boiling, and then as soon as you boil, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like literally with the problem. Think of what I can't remember. I didn't have any problems. I didn't boil anything. Yeah, I only did them until I got the camp, so I could have used another one, probably, yeah. you know. But I was a little scared just to drink that little like strength. And then Black. I had a bit and, and I had a all the back, I had a both bag. tent yeah. before we so packed the other stuff. Oh, like, I had to go up with like a high point and then use my cup and be like, go no. up. <laughs> <laughs> Going around, it was just hammering right now. Really? But I, you know, obviously I kind of slap, but I just, I just, I think that was just too cold. I just, I don't know. You know, probably this big around. And there was a log laying here and then a log on top and there was a spot under it and I could tell it's bone dry just looking at it. Yeah. So I like walled off one side and I got underneath there and had a fire. Oh, sweet, Shoot. sweet. Yeah. I was like, you could hear the ocean just oh, oh, it was super windy. Yeah. Slept yeah. good, get up Beauty. the next morning. Yeah, that yeah. sounds nice. Like, started hiking. Right, did you song. ever see the ocean and think like, that must be where, I must be almost there. Yeah. You know, that yeah. happened to me too. Yeah, no, like the middle of the hike. I must be there and I'm like, oh, I'm not even close. Like, that's not a looking day, you know? Yeah, that's too bad. Last time I got done, I was just deep, deep as death. You know, I was tired. Dude, what a bunch of people are running. 15 feet in the air, and down trees on the side of the hill. Uh-huh. About 15 feet. Turn around, and I'm slowly climb back down, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get to the next position. Yeah, I'm going to have to get to the I don't know if there was a bag. I think they were just wrapped in like paper. Um. Oh yeah. I just wrapped them back in this. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything came in like a, an actual bag. Quite amazing, but it didn't didn't translate to film. So, a little wrap up of our weekend of hot tent camping and uh, checking out Brooke's new property, the site of her future cabin was very nicely wrapped up with, not Dave's, sorry, maybe Dave's gonna help a bit, I don't know. Dave was there too. Uh, so yeah, so awesome weekend of hot tent camping with Brooke and Dave checking out their new property doing a, a little exploring around the area was amazingly wrapped up with a visit yeah. to a really big high volume beautiful waterfall and uh really really impressive sight so pretty awesome ending to our adventures yeah, it's just about perfect